Oui, Veuillez vous asseoir. And she is informing the parties uh, that um, depuis le mardi 5 Since Tuesday, uh, la fin de la 5 semaine, May until the end of the week, Fence Judge Fence uh, ne pourra pas will siéger, not be able to sit uh, pour des raisons for de santé, health après reasons avec les juges after de having la uh, instance, spoken la to the judges of the trial chamber. Juge Lukin, the chamber is appointing Judge Lukin Fence, to replace uh, Judge Fence until She uh, will be able to um, uh, assume her duties again at uh, the trial chamber. Pursuant to Rule 79 of the internal rules, the decision was taken. La chambre donne la parole the chamber now gives the floor to uh, the defense counsel. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Merci, Monsieur um, le Président, mais, Madame. I have a few um, juges, rounding up questions to you, Madam Witness. Are you Madame there? Témoin, j'ai encore quelques questions à vous poser. Est-ce que vous m'entendez? Yeah. Um, before oui. the break. Yes, indeed. Madam, Madam Witness, before the break, we Madame um, la témoin, spoke avant about la pause, you nous and avons also parlé uh, Peck Chim de vous, as being de Chim. respectively kind and a humble on a revolutionary cadre. Um, I have a follow-up question on this topic. Um, have you what can you tell us about the 12 revolutionary moral principles of the CPK? What is it that you remember of it? Que pourriez-vous nous dire à ce sujet? De quoi vous souvenez-vous exactement? Réponse, Answer. je ne peux pas me, me souvenir de ces commandements de CPK. Commandments of the CPK. I can understand that you don't remember them all. Um, but do you remember that between 1975 and 1979, you tried, you tried to abide by these uh, 12 principles that you tried to live up um, or that you tried to act according to these 12 revolutionary principles? Réponse, uh, oui, yes, indeed. Uh, these 12 commandments bien, existed, indeed. Mais, uh, je ne pas but I cannot tell you what their exact scope was. I understand. Um, Coppé, just let me, let me assist you a bit. Do je you remember one of the 12 revolutionary principles that Uh, stipulated Selon that cadres should not behave in any way that uh, violates women. Le comportement des cadres ne devait en aucun cas nuire aux femmes ou violer les droits des femmes. Yeah. Oui, yes, je, uh, je me souviens I de ce commandement. Do remember that commandment. And do you remember Maître Copé, whether you vous souvenez-vous, par ailleurs, read 
si about these 12 revolutionary principles in one of the revolutionary flags. Ces principes ou ces commandements dans l'un des numéros de l'étendard révolutionnaire. Non. No. Il ne me semble pas avoir lu I un don't tel remember having étendard révolutionnaire. Uh, uh, J'ai uh, lu uh, différents textes, mais uh, je ne sais pas à quel articles, moment j'ai lu uh, ce genre I de textes. Je ne me souviens pas quand j'ai lu ce commandement en particulier. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez Uh, maybe remember in, other, in, in any other terms uh, that in, in relation to this specific principle de quoi que ce soit um, en lien avec ces guidance ces was also ces given as to uh, what the été points were relating to the setting up of a family. En lien, par exemple, marriage, avec l'établissement d'une famille, ou avec le mariage, vous souvenez vous de politique relative au mariage qui aurait été liée à l'un de ces commandements. Réponse, je Answer, ne comprends I pas votre don't question. Understand your question. Um, I, I understand. It was, Maître Copé, um, je comprends. Je vais peut-être mal formuler, um, alors do you know je vais reformuler. Whether the issue of family and marriage si la question de la famille was connected et des mariages to the revolutionary principle de quelque façon of not violating women? principe révolutionnaire au commandement révolutionnaire de ne pas violer les femmes. Réponse Answer. oui, je comprends yes, votre question. I understand your question now. In other words, the treatment of women Copé, was connected to en termes, le the party's policy on setting up a family. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that Is that Is that correct? Is that est-il exact également there are, there were two in de dire qu'il y avait deux principes that there were two principles, um, in relation to deux commandements family and marriage. liés à la First, famille et au mariage. Both parties agree. Tout d'abord, les deux parties devaient se mettre d'accord. Et ensuite, s'il si y avait consentement, l'on pouvait procéder au mariage. Est-ce exact Monsieur le Président. Patrick Martin Clytop. Madame la témoin, veuillez patienter deux secondes. Monsieur le procureur adjoint, allez-y. J'entends la question de la défense et je me pose des questions par rapport à cette question. Et je me pose des questions en relation à cette question. Le témoin a parlé du fait qu'elle se souvenait qu'il y avait des commandements, mais elle ne se souvenait pas du contenu exact. Et là, la question qui est posée est carrément euh, de lui suggérer euh, les réponses qu'elle devrait fournir. Donc, la question prend pour acquis que deux, deux commandements existeraient. Somehow, Already accepts the fact Concernant that the mariage, commandments the already existed with respect to marriage. Je ne crois pas avoir entendu And I don't la, le believe en I heard the witness speak about this specifically. So therefore, I think we should, preliminary, preliminary questions should be put with regard to the content of the commandments. 
sauter sur des conclusions et inciter le témoin à conclure sur base de choses qui n'ont pas été établies auparavant. Je ne sais pas si c'est clair, mais en tout cas, il me semble que la méthode pose question. Je ne sais pas si je suis clair, mais en tout cas, j'ai des problèmes avec la méthodologie ici. Monsieur le Président, je pense que j'ai demandé la question Monsieur le Président, il me semble que j'ai demandé à la témoin si elle se souvenait de l'un des douze commandements qui était de ne pas violer les droits des femmes de quelque façon que ce soit. Elle a répondu par l'affirmative, donc j'ai décidé de poser des questions de suivi et à présent je pose des questions à propos du lien Revolutionary principle and the policy of setting up a family. So I think I laid the foundation for these questions, and I think the last specific question this witness should be able to answer. Maître Coppé, veuillez reformuler votre dernière question. Elle, 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 elle est euh, en clin à devenir une question orientée. Question Donc, veuillez reformuler votre question. Elle pose le risque d'être une question leading. Question. Donc, pouvez-vous, s'il vous plaît, Rephrase your question in another way. Maître Copé. Madam witness, was. Madame la témoin. The policy of family and marriage. La politique relative aux familles et aux mariages. To the sixth revolutionary principle. Au sixième commandement révolutionnaire à savoir qu'il ne fallait en aucun cas enfreindre les droits des femmes. Réponse. Answer. Je ne comprends pas le sixième commandement révolutionnaire. Je ne m'en rappelle plus du tout. In fact, remember it at all. Let me let me rephrase. Maître Copé, je vais reformuler. Ask the question completely different. Was the marriage the family policy of the CPK? Les politiques relatives à la famille et au mariage. Based on two principles: first, that both parties agree to the marriage, and second, that the collective agrees. And if that is the case, then two people could get married. Si les deux parties consentaient au mariage, alors le mariage pouvait avoir lieu. Est-ce exact? Oui, c'est exact. Answer: Yes, that is true. And then my question: Does this marriage or family policy follow from the revolutionary principle that says do not behave in any way that violates women? Qui indiquait qu'il ne fallait pas porter atteinte de quelque façon que ce soit aux femmes.
Are you there, Madam Witness? Madame la témoin, est-ce que vous m'avez entendu? Madame Cambon, vous avez entendu la question? Did you hear the question? Madame Cambon. Il paraît qu'il semble qu'il y a des problèmes techniques. Apparently, there are some technical issues here. Madame Cambon, Ms. Cambon, bonjour. Uh, hello. Réponse. Oui, Answer. Monsieur le Président. Yes, Mr. President. Bonjour. Hello. Le Président. President. Uh, veuillez écouter les questions. Can you please listen to the questions and try to answer them? Réponse. Answer. Oui. Yes, of course. Um, Madam Witness. Did you hear Madame my last Coupé. question, or should Madame I repeat it for you? Avez-vous entendu ma dernière question, ou souhaitez-vous que je répète cette question? Réponse. Answer. Veuillez répéter Please la question. Please repeat the question since I couldn't hear you well. Elle était and uh, your question was rather complicated de, uh, because, as you know, limité. I don't have uh, a very high level of education. So, could you please simplify your question? Um, I will do my very best, Madam Witness. Maître um, Gobé, je vais faire de mon mieux, Madame la Témoin. The policy of the party. La politique du parti. In relation to marriage. Relative au mariage. Was based. Was that based on two principles? First, sur deux both parties agree. Second, que the collective les deux agrees. Parties devaient être d'accord, devaient consentir I believe you said yes. Ensuite, il y avoir My follow-up question. Pour y ait mariage. These two Je principles. Crois que vous avez répondu que oui. Maintenant, je voudrais Do savoir si ces deux principes que j'ai énoncés découlaient du commandement révolutionnaire that, that selon lequel il ne fallait women. pas mal se comporter envers les femmes. Yeah, yeah. Réponse, Answer. oui, yes, c'est exact. That's true. Thank you, uh, Madam Witness. Coppé, I will merci, move on to um, a, a, a point related to those 12 uh, revolutionary principles. Point lié à ces 12 and um, I would like to read to you from a revolutionary flag uh, from July 1978. De juillet 1978. Um, Madam Witness, I'm reading something now to you from the revolutionary flag, and, it's, and it deals about the selection of members of cooperative committees. Des 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 the correct characteristics that these people should have in order to become a member. Il s'agit des caractéristiques que doivent avoir um, ces personnes pour devenir membres. They must have 
staunch revolutionary stance in terms of the political line of the party. Um, they must have a staunch revolutionary stand in terms of the party's line in organizing leadership and carrying out the work. And, and now I'm quoting literally, Et ensuite, je cite, they must be il faut que ces most vigilant soient très vigilantes about the stances and attitudes of carrying out work in bureaucratic, Mandarin, des authoritarian, militaristic, liberal, single-minded, Aikachet styles, the styles of taking no responsibility for anything vis-à-vis -vis the party, the revolution, and the people. Madam witness, this instruction, this guideline as to characteristics of members of the committee. Madame la témoin, Does that ring a bell with you? Do you remember? This instruction. Membre du comité du parti, vous rappelle-t-elle quelque chose Answer, yes, this does ring a bell. It was necessary to choose leaders uh, in the cooperative uh, who had uh, good conduct and who would respect Ankar's discipline as you described. And I agree with you, but I don't remember the details because um, I have almost forgotten everything. I understand, Madam Witness, um, it's a long time ago. But do you remember, maybe, uh, members of the cooperative? Uh, who did not have these characteristics, who were um, bad people in the sense that they were bad revolutionaries? Do you, have any do you remember any concrete examples? Auriez-vous des exemples en tête Réponse, Answer. je ne comprends pas bien votre I question. Pourriez-vous quite la understand your question. Vous Could you please rephrase it? Do you remember any Maître examples Copé. of cadres within your commune who were de votre commune bureaucratic, qui Mandarin, été authoritarian, authoritarian, militaristic, single-minded. Do you remember any limité. of those cadres in your commune? Pensez-vous à des cadres qui auraient répondu à ces caractéristiques dans votre commune? Answer. There were not very many of them. As I said, some people would eat secretly and they did not have a responsible attitude. But however, they were not authoritarian. Uh, Um, let me maybe move on to a concrete example, Copé, an, uh, example an example which you can also find in one of the 12 revolutionary moral principles, um, and that is uh, not to drink or use alcohol as a cadre. Do you remember uh, the revolutionary principle not to drink in your time in the commune? À votre époque, au sein de votre commune. Réponse. Answer. Oui, je yes. Euh, je I do remember that. 
what would happen what would happen to a cadre if he was caught drinking alcohol et qu'advenait-il d'un cadre pris en flagrant délit alors qu'il était en train de boire de l'alcool Réponse, Answer. Uh, well, if ever uh, they caught him on les éduquer, off guard, on les de uh, he would be educated corriger, and uh, they would de les limoger, be threatened uh, of being corrected or of being dismissed uh, so uh, that uh, they would not continue with that kind of behavior. Um, thank you, Madam Witness. I'll move on Merci, la uh, to another Je subject. And passe un autre Mr. Sujet. President, that is revisiting um, my earlier question before the Je break. Sur la que um, avant I'm la not pause. sure yet if you have ruled already. Si vous avez déjà pris However, une what I would propose is that at least I'd be able Ce que je propose, uh, de before au you minimum. come with your final decision or with your decision to Avant read the passage from Chuchet's confession so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so that, um, we know um, which specific details of his confessions I would like to put before the witness. And I think now also all parties have been able to have a look at this um, document. So it's, uh, it's eight or ten lines from this um, document, which I would like to read. And then we'll sit down and listen to your decision. The chamber actually ruled this morning La Chambre That's a déjà the pris une décision ce matin. Of the document, Il a été décidé que le contenu d'un document qui serait le fruit cannot be used rédigé sous la torture and the full decision that will be issued uh, next week. And I expressly stated that in the morning. You also uh, stated uh, that Vous this morning that the uh, international co-prosecutor quoted a que le part of the document. Avait un un document. Anyhow, it was ruled, so please Mais move on, soit, counsel. Une a été prise en la Poursuivez, then, I apologize, it's my misunderstanding. Maître I thought uh, there wasn't si a compris, formal ruling yet. Mais cru um, que but avait été prise allow me to, to, to come back to this. Um, I am si fine with this witness not answering question, this question, but I would like to have read in the record the passage that I would like to have read to, to her. I don't think it is forbidden to formulate my question, que um, aimé and I think I would like to have question. in the record what it is exactly that I would have put to the witness. So I think I'm allowed to read that passage, and then you, you, uh, the, the chamber can stick with its decision that I cannot ask this question. However, I would like for the record to be very clear also for the appeal hearings, uh, the very specific question that I wanted to ask to this witness. President, the international deputy co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il n'y a pas d'intérêt à lire un Mr. passage d'un no document need to read à propos duquel il ne sera pas permis de poser de questions. C'est la in première chose. Deuxièmement, il s'agit d'une tentative, en lisant un passage, d'influencer le témoin pour de futures questions. Je crois que c'est assez clair et j'invite la Chambre à ne pas tomber dans ce jeu et à ne pas accepter ce type de requête. Président, Président, that's a very interesting ruling. 
Um, no, we still have S21 to deal with, including the question whether torture was um, committed, but that's another point. Um, okay, Madam Witness, I will move on to the very last um, question. There you are. Um, and that is your husband, who was in the Popel commune. My question to you is, he has come up already a few times um, in your testimony. Uh, my question is, did you ever discuss with him uh, your work in the commune, your decisions, and vice versa, did he ever discuss with you um, his decisions, uh, his policies, etc.? I don't fully understand your question. Please refresh it. Put very simply, uh, Madam Witness, did you ever speak to your husband between 75 and 79 about your work at home? As a husband and wife, we spoke to one another, we fought one another, and that was a typical uh, nature. Of course, it was not a, a big fight, but we had our personal opinion on various uh, aspects, including political aspects. Yes, we did speak to one another. And would you be able, in general terms, to say whether his decisions, his policy in Popel Commune were the same as yours, were corresponding with yours? Les mêmes que les vôtres, ou correspondaient aux vôtres? I cannot make a conclusion on this matter. However, uh, in terms of implementing the order or instruction from the upper echelon, both of us would uh, do it, would implement it. But was there a difference between you and him in terms of implementation of the policy? Was he doing it the same way as you were? Est-ce qu'il les exécutait de la même façon que vous Je ne suis pas sûr. As uh, we did not meet very often during the regime, sometimes we uh, met only once uh, uh, in a month, and we uh, didn't spend much time uh, discussing these matters. Okay, thank you, Madam Witness. Last, last subject I would like to discuss with you, um, and that is the, the enemy situation or the defense situation um, in April, May, June 1977, it's two years after the liberation. Um, do you remember whether there was increased violence um, coming from the Vietnamese um, in the period March, April, May 77? May 1977 avait redoublé d'intensité ou non? No, I uh, cannot recall that. As I was sick almost a uh, year round in uh, 1977. So 
you won't be able to answer any concrete questions on enemy activity at the border uh, in those months of 77. Am I correct? Pendant ces mois là de 1977, est-ce exact? Yeah. Yes. Oui, c'est exact. Um, thank you very much, okay. Madam Witness, uh, for answering uh, my sometimes difficult questions. Thank you. President, President, the Chamber would like to hand the floor to Le the Chambre defense team for Kiev and Paul to report the questions to this witness. You may proceed, Counsel. Counsel Kong Samon, thank you, Mr. President. Madam uh, Witness, my name is Kung Sam On. I am a national uh, counsel for Kyu Sam Pon, and I have some questions that I like to seek clarification from you. In relation to your written record of a witness interview, that is your interview document. Dont la cote est E three hundred and twelve says the council slash twelve slash a point three point two. At question, question answer et réponse. seventeen, eighteen and uh, nineteen. Do you tell the investigator of the office of the co-investigating judges, and also you stated on the same matter yesterday when you answered the question of the national co-prosecutor around nine and nine hour and thirty minutes. You stated that you never knew uh, Mr. Kiel Sampon. No, met him. No, worked as his uh, messenger. And my question to you is the following: Did you ever work as a messenger? Say from 1970 to 1979. Answer. No, I never worked as a messenger as I had young children to take care of. President, the council, please check the document number again. It should be E319, not E312. Council, allow me to uh, check it, Mr. President. L'avocat, permettez que je vérifie, Monsieur le Président. Council, uh, my apology, uh, Mr. President. Uh, the document is E319-12.3.2. Also, uh, Madame Witness, on the same document, at Dans question document, Madame le témoin, answer 327, Réponse et question 327. You stated that during the period, the three years period of the Khmer Rouge regime, did any senior ranking cadres and uh, in the parentheses, Kiev or some pawn, Popol, Tanunji, pay a visit to your area? And your reply is the following in A327. None. Only Tamok did. Furthermore, no one knew Kiev some pawn, Popol, and Nunji. 
in relation to this uh, extract, my question to you is the following. Ma question est donc la Do you confirm Confirmez and stand by that statement? Et maintenez-vous yes, cela? I confirm and I stand by it, uh, my oui. statement. Je confirme et je maintiens ce que j'ai affirmé. Council, thank you. L'avocat, je vous remercie. Now I'd like to ask you about uh, Tamok and his uh, family. In de the same document that is document, your uh, written record of interview, at question answer 55 question and 56, 55 et 56. And allow me to uh, quote uh, these two question answers. Question, did you know Tamok? Answer 55, Tamok yes, I did. Oui. Tamok traveled Tamok around looking after work in the cooperatives and the communes. Question, did you personally know him? Answer 56, yes, I personally knew him. Sometimes he came to see the cooperative kitchen and he asked the people whether they ate enough or not. Tamok visited every site. I met Tamok. End of a quote. Do you stand by it, your statements that I just read out? Answer, yes, I do. Council, thank you. L'avocat, je vous remercie. Did you know Tamok went to various other uh, work sites within uh, the Ça area? Si Tamok Answer. Sur sites de I only knew that he Réponse came to uh, my area. Council, thank you. Sur mon site à moi. In the same interview, at question answer 61, you state, and I quote, I no longer saw Tamok about a year before fleeing the June because he went to work at a different size, but I did not know where he was, end of quote. Mais je ne sais pas Do you se still trouver. stand by that Un statement citation. of yours? Maintenez-vous cette déclaration? Answer: Yes, I do. Réponse: Counsel, oui, thank you. Je maintiens cela, l'avocat. Je vous remercie. Did you ever hear a phrase that was used that uh, above uh, mock? Most head, there was a head, and about the head, there was a sky. Answer, no, I have never heard uh, that expression. Counsel, thank you. Regarding your role or position during the period of the Democratic Campuchia, and as you have stated that you were a commune chief at the beginning of the regime, and you then worked at the district level toward the end of the regime. And I have some questions regarding your position at the commune level. You 
stated that you attended uh, meetings at the sector level, that is a sector 13, and you made that statement in your written record of interview at question answer 82 of the same document that I quoted earlier. And you stated that for the you were you asked whether any senior cadres from from Phnom Penh attended uh, the meeting, and you answer a eighty two uh, read no cadres of the uh, center came to attend those meetings. And Madame Witness, do you still stand by that Madame statement? Answer, yes, I do. It is correct. Oui, exact. Counsel, thank you. Je vous Did you ever see the MOOC attend to meetings at the sector level? À des au du secteur? Answer, yes, I did. Réponse, oui. Counsel, thank you. La défense, je vous remercie. In your same interview, Dans ce même procès verbal question, at question answer question 85, 85, and you were asked the following question, and I quote, were the meeting outcomes disseminated to the center level, answer 85, I did not know whether or not they reported them to the center, end of quote. And Madame Witness, do you still stand by that statement as correct? Answer, yes, it is correct. Question. In your response to question one four six, 146, you stated that it was sent to the district and Vous that you did not know whether the district forwarded it through district, the upper echelon or not. Si oui ou non, Le district faisait suivre le rapport à l'échelon supérieur. And do you still stand by to that uh, statement? Confirmez-vous? Answer yes. Cette déclaration. It is correct. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Counsel. La défense. On the issue of uh, agriculture. And there has been a lot of uh, discussions on this very matter, that is, on the issue of producing three tons of rice yield per hectare. Did you know about the policy of uh, rice produce of three tons per hectare per, uh, per year? Rather, three tons of rice year per hectare. Can you tell the chamber as from whom you heard about this policy? Answer: The plant of producing three tons of rice year per hectare. I received that instruction from the district. So we tried to use more fertilizer in the rice fields in order to achieve that outcome. Question. And who actually at the district level gave you that instruction, if you can recall? Answer. I cannot actually remember well. It could be, uh, it was at the time of uh, that chai or that cut. Council, thank you. Avocat, je vous remercie. On the issue of uh, urgent uh, meetings, 
as you were asked uh, by the OCIJ investigator uh, in question 160, you said that there were various kinds of uh, urgent uh, meetings. And let me quote, uh, for example, when there was an abundance of rice in my commune, the impoverished commune immediately called for me to share the abundance rice to the commune where rice was lacking. End of quote. Afin de le faire parvenir là où il faisait défaut. Can you tell the chamber whether your commune had a, a, si a lot of a surplus? Answer. No, uh, there was réponse. not much surplus. Non, However, if you compare the the produce in my si commune to other communes, we did have more rice, and so our rice was uh, sent to other communes. Notre riz était Council, à thank you. Je vous also, in your same written record of interview, a uh, question answer 83, you stated that, and I quote, vous dites, when you were asked about what happened in the, the village, you said, when any event happened at the base, village, village or commune, the village reported it to me, and if I could not sort it out, I had to refer it to the upper echelon. Besides this, they talked only about lack of food at the cooperative and how we had to grow other supplementary crops for food. Additionally, if anyone misbehaved, we had to send them to the upper echelon, but I did not send very many. And of quote, uh, Madame, do you still stand by your Madame, statement? -vous ce que vous avez dit? Answer Correction, yes. Il de la 83. Le témoin. Oui, je confirme, je maintiens ce que j'ai dit. Question. Question. On some matters, that you made your own decisions. Am I correct in saying that? Vous Answer, vos no, pour that's not the case. Réponse, non, ce pas le cas. Question. Question. Allow me to uh, refresh my question Permettez in que case that you uh, found it difficult to understand. Au cas où vous in your answer 83, you talk about uh, the reporting to the uh, upper echelon and that certain matters uh, you resolve them to, by yourself. So my question to you was that you made certain decisions on certain issues and that you did not have to report those issues to the upper echelon. Is my understanding correct? Answer, yes, it is. Council, thank you. Now I move uh, to the time period when you worked at the district. In that same document of your interview, dans ce même document, procès verbal d'audition. A question answer two hundred seventy five, two hundred seventy six, and two hundred. 277. And allow me to quote uh, from 220 from 275. As uh, follows: Tassaron appointed me district Ta committee. There was no actual appointment. En fait, il a he pas just eu told me to have the district work. Paris. Il m'a simplement dit d'aider, de contribuer aux travaux du Because district. Because San was working alone. Seul. 
Furthermore, it does to help supervise the tailoring women. There was no written appointment. For example, during a meeting, they told us À la couture, il n'y avait pas you de this, nomination par écrit. You par are transferred from here to that place. Ils m'ont dit, vous faites ceci, vous êtes transféré là à cet endroit. Taron a dit, va aider San parce que San est tout seul. Have received an order from the a peut-être reçu un ordre de l'échelon supérieur également. The sector echelon came to tell you to be district committee and the sector might have received Question. an order from the L'échelon upper du echelon. Est venu vous dire de Do you think that the decision to appoint you on district committee came from the center in Phnom Penh? Supérieur. Pensez-vous que la Answer décision de vous lever du district est venue du centre à Phnom Penh? No. Réponse it came from the sector. Non, c'est venu du secteur. Question. Could the sector level appoint the district level people Question. without discussion with the zone? Nommer les gens du niveau du district and uh, 277 I do not know. Réponse 277, je l'ignore. Fin de citation. Madame, do you still stand by the uh, statement that I just read out? Je viens de vous lire et que vous avez Answer, yes I do. Réponse, it is uh, oui, correct. C'est exact. Bah, ça m'occupe. Merci. Thank you. Vous avez um, répondu you, devant la, le bureau de la commission, uh, ainsi que en audience même hier, as well as during the hearing itself uh, yesterday, nomina- with uh, regard to your appointment uh, Tramcock, uh, at Tramcock District. Uh, vous avez uh, vous avez, you said uh, that, uh, that you had been a- appointed fit, uh, in October 1968. Uh, 78, uh, 78 uh, correct the interpreter. Uh, this is in your written record of interview at uh, question answer 30 and 31. And this uh, involves uh, an exception can you explain this notion of exception to the chamber at question 30 and 31 of your written record of interview, you answer, I don't remember very well, but there was an exception for those who had committed minor offenses and uh, these people had to be released. Uh, This uh, is uh, what I said. Question. Question. Uh, dites que les, you say uh, ces gens-là that être these libérés. people Vous, had to be released. Uh, what do you mean uh, by that? Uh, do you mean that those who had committed, uh, had committed minor offenses uh, had to be released? Uh, uh, ici, answer was what I mean by exception is uh, 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 forgiving. Uh, for forgiving légères. those who had committed minor Et offenses. And cette notion dans I sa profondeur. can't really understand this idea in depth. I simply believe exception. that sometimes uh, exceptional measures were taken. Uh, question. question. Thank you. Uh, uh, how long did you stay in Tramcock? Because you told us that uh, you were appointed in October 1978. So I'd like to know how long you remained uh, in Tramcock. Answer. I was there until the Vietnamese arrived. Vers la jungle. And then I escaped to the jungle. Question. Question. Do you remember the date? Did you leave before 7 January 1979? 
combien de temps avant or how much ou time before après. or how much time after uh, that date uh, answer je pas de I précise, don't really remember specifically, but I know uh, that Trump I Kork left uh, Trump Kork au du uh, sur, uh, Takev. when Takeo was bombed. Je ne me pas I don't précise. remember exactly which month it was. Question, merci. Question, thank you. Concernant la Now, question, with réponse, uh, regard 64, to, to question uh, answer 69, six, uh, uh, and I quote, uh, uh, allé did you go bureau, to the uh, sector 13 uh, sector 13 office uh, quand when you chef were de commune chief or when you were chef, uh, de district, district uh, committee réponse, uh, answer? Quand I chef de went commune, there when I was coming chief. Quand, uh, uh, je faisais partie du comité de district, and je I never went there when I was district committee be parce que because the Vietnamese were attacking and approaching et que and le uh, chaos there régnait, was turmoil. Uh, régnait, donc je so ne pas I could not go to the meetings there. À Question. Question. Uh, donc, uh, j'aimerais vous demander well, uh, si I would like to ask vous maintenez uh, if, uh, votre you stand réponse. By your answer. Réponse. Oui, answer. Je yes, I do. Réponse. I indeed stand by that answer. Question. Question. Merci. Thank you. J'aimerais vous poser des I questions now would like concernant to put questions les to you regarding the revolutionary flag issues. Dans votre uh, in uh, your verbal d'audition, written record of interview la question at question 121, uh, je cite, and, en tant que chef de commune, uh, I quote, as a commune chief, uh, jamais did faire you propaganda sur les ever have to do any propaganda uh, on the revolutionary flag uh, issues that, uh, that uh, appeared back then? Votre answer. This is your answer. Uh, I did not know cette, about de those magazines. De ces, uh, révolutionnaires. Que les, les I am not sure if the upper levels uh, published um, avait connaissance, mais à mon niveau, magazines, il en avait pas. but there uh, were no magazines question. at my level. Donc, uh, savoir, question. So I'd like uh, to know si vous, uh, if si votre déclaration your est juste. S uh, what you say here is réponse, correct, uh, and if you stand by it, answer, I was not aware of the existence uh, of uh, these revolutionary flag magazines. Uh, question, uh, question. Uh, and when you were district, uh, part of the district committee, did you ever see issues of revolutionary magazine, uh, revolutionary réponse, flag, correct uh, interpreter? Oui, answer, yes. Je, uh, pas But uh, la teneur. I did not uh, know the content. Question. Uh, question. Quand, uh, vous avez When vous you avez vu, said that you avez, had uh, seen uh, these issues, uh, le, does that mean that you read them or you just simply saw them? Uh, réponse, Answer. Non, no, uh, pas lu ces I never uh, read these détail, issues uh, or in any case not in detail. I perused them uh, because I had a lot of things to do. I was consistant. very busy. À, à faire des récoltes. I, I had to uh, work uh, on uh, farming the land. Question, merci. Question, thank you. Passer Now I would like sujet, to uh, turn to another topic uh, which uh, concerns marriages. Uh, Hier, uh, yesterday, uh, um, this was uh, at around uh, 9.55 in the morning, uh, vous you vous avez Uh, spoke de, about uh, marriage. Vous avez you des, spoke uh, about um, uh, entraînant des fautes d'un conduite morale. Different uh, reasons why people would misbehave morally. J'aimerais vous demander And I would like to ask you si 
till si de if um, les hommes célibataires ou des single garçons men célibataires or single young men euh, faire l'amour de leur gré uh, could uh, make love when they wish to that is to say pouvaient avoir could un, they have un amour uh, consenti sans a love relationship mariage, uh, without them being married le without la réponse, non, answer, ce no cas de figure that pas. was not possible Question, merci. Question, thank you. Question, réponse 153 At, uh, et question 154, toujours dans votre uh, 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 in record of interview. Donc, uh, réponse so, 153, answer 153, uh, and I quote... Uh, Là où je travaillais, At my site, si ce genre if de such a case happens, uh, that meant que that man and woman loved donc, each other, les, uh, so village, the village uh, had to report to me, et, uh, and I would call uh, them pour, to uh, talk avec eux au fin de les in order to arrange a marriage for them. Question. Question. Uh, considérer cet acte Did comme un délit. People consider this kind of act uh, as an offense. Réponse. Answer. Oui. Yes. Uh, in, acte, uh, it was indeed um, pas something that uh, did not comply with our tradition. Donc j'aimerais savoir so si I vous maintenez like toujours to know, votre déclaration. So I would like to know, therefore, if you stand by what you said, uh, asks the council. Réponse, Answer. Je ne pas très I bien don't ce que understand vous exactly dire. what you just said. Uh, could you uh, please repeat uh, your question? Question, merci. Uh, question, redire. yes, thank you. Um, question, as I said, uh, 153 et 154, in, at question 153 and 154, quoted Là your answer uh, from si question 153 that uh, says, at my site, if such a case happened, that meant that uh, man uh, and woman loved each other, so the village had to report je, to me, uh, and I would call them to talk in order to arrange uh, a marriage for them. Question. Qu so, ce genre de cas, was uh, this acte comme un délit? considered uh, réponse, uh, an offense? Uh, uh, answer uh, 154, oui, yes, it was against tradition. La tradition, ou qui la tradition. Uh, donc, so, donc des so these were single young men and women who were in love with each other. So I'd like to ask you uh, if uh, your statement here uh, is correct. Answer no. If uh, both uh, the man, the young man and the young woman said that uh, they were in love with each other and there was no problem uh, if uh, the village uh, chiefs uh, approved of it. So what I said it was not correct. Question. So let me please repeat what you said. Si les if garçons et filles uh, célibataires single, uh, et qu'ils young men and women loved each other and they confessed amoureux, that they were in love with each uh, other cela ne constituait pas this une inconduite morale was not et qu'on pouvait a form of moral misconduct uh, and therefore they could get married is that what you oui, wanted uh, to say réponse, answer oui, yes that's ça. indeed what i wanted to say le président, president uh, the time has come uh, for a short break. Uh, so the à, à hearing heures. will resume at uh, 3 p.m. Ms. Cumburn, we will resume at 3 p.m. Uh, so présent. you can rest now. Et Et donc, euh, so please return to the courtroom with Merci. your counsel before 3 o'clock. Thank you.